Hello, lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you all for clicking. This is episode 13 on the Empire's project. All right. So in your view is a beautiful 3D representation of the beautiful four bedroom house that we are putting up for our clients. It is one of an architectural design. It, ha it comes with a hidden roof um, with a small roof slabs, as you see from the back and that of the front. Okay. And then it comes with a two car pods garage. Okay. A kitchen, a living area. All the bedrooms are all in suits and yeah, a laundry and I think a utility room. So as of now, we are almost done with the foundation works. We are on the final stages of the foundation um, concrete casting, which will be taking place very soon. So in your view right now, the carpenter um, has actually done the oversight facial boarding. The board you see along the perimeter, all these boards are called the oversight facial boarding. And then the DPM has also been laid on top of it. This DPM is of the highest quality. This is a 300 MU, okay? At the same time, the steel benders have also laid down the ground beams. These ground beams are running on all the block partitions within this foundation. Okay, this area is the front terrace area. Okay, it's gonna be a step down. So that's what you see over there. And all these ones will be realigned properly. Okay, they'll be realigned properly. They are still working and in episode um, 12, you notice we run short of the DPM on the far right. That will also be done. So this is how it should be done properly. You see that the tape, we've applied the tape to the DPM just to keep them in position, you understand? So everything has been taped off. Ground beams, everything done neatly. So that's my big sister, Madam Bridget and she is the project coordinator on this project okay and she is doing beautifully very well okay she's doing very well in all stages she's done so much and i i really appreciate her that much okay and here we've also seen the facial boarding done by the carpenter and he was narrating that everything looks straight. <laughs> yes. So these are all design pillars, according to the drawing. These pillars are protruding, and so the formwork is going to be done accordingly the same. You understand? It's going to be done just the same way. Okay. The plumber has also projected all the rain gutters that is supposed to go up to receive the rainwater. We've also done all of that. Okay. Everything have been demarcated according to the design. It is a big house. Mm -hmm. It is a big house. So all these areas, we have the ground beams everywhere. There's no place that have been left without the ground beams. And this is going to support the structure very well and we would experience any crack anywhere um, in the future, you understand? So both suspension have been done. Some people usually do this suspension even in the foundation. They do this suspension, they put these ground beams right into the foundation before they lay the blocks on top of it, yes. So it is something that I believe if we all, it is a practice that if encouraged, will protect a lot of buildings. Yes, it will protect a lot of structures, you know, ac across the country. 
So the next thing to do now is to finish up with the DPM on that stretch. Okay, we're going to finish up with the DPM and then they will realign all the ground beams properly and lock them. Then we are ready for casting. In terms of casting, we are using river sand. Okay, we mix it with the normal sand. Because some of these recent normal sand, if you have them, do your, you experience some kind of crack in them. Okay, so what we decided to do is to blend the two, a little bit of river sand and then the normal sand will do the magic. Yes, so we did that and it was, it was magic. The, the outcome was great. If you walk on the oversized concrete, you will notice that the quality is different. Mm. All right, so, so far so good. I believe um, you've learned a lot from the beginning of this um, house. My goal is to educate you to broaden your horizon so you can learn and understand the recent times. Uh, if you want to put up a project, uh, things you should look out for, you should know in case your, your mason or whoever is building your house is doing something differently, you can ask questions. Okay, you can ask questions. Again, the ground beams, we are using 12 mm. It's 12 mm, we are using it's rectangle, not a triangle ground beams. Okay, they are four rod in a ring. Okay, that makes it stronger. Aside that, all the pipes for the plumbing works are pressure pipes. They are all pressure pipes. Pressure pipes are expensive, and so it is required to do the right job for you because it would take at least a year or two to complete the house. And you need a pipe that can withstand pressure. If you buy a normal 0 0.0 pipe, it will crack along the, along the line. It will crack. So pretty much I would en uh, entrust that you would um, make sure that your plumber goes in for the original pressure pipe. So, so far so good. This is what we have. We have to realign these ground beams. They are not yet done, so they will realign that properly. So this area is ready for casting, understand? That entire stretch area is ready for casting. And so when casting is done, and as you can see, they decided to put the stone so that the wind will not take it away, you understand? So this is the stretch that is left and they bought the DPM, so this is the DPM. Okay, that is the DPM. We are going to lay that on this particular stretch before casting is done. Okay, so yeah, casting has started. And as you can see, the DPM is overlapping. Okay, and the thickness of this concrete is six inches. All right, so please take note. The thickness is six inches. You can even go up to one foot if you have the money. You understand? If you have the money to go up to one foot because six inches is, to get to one foot is just four inches difference. Four inches difference, okay? Because four plus six will give you that one foot. Are you with me? Yes, yeah, so the thickness here is six inches. So that six inches is standard. Everywhere, that's how they do it. Standard thickness, six inches. So it will be done properly and leveled. And the concrete is being mixed with what's approved chemical. Okay, that is a Vitalia. You can use the doctor fix it as well. Okay, usually before I was using doctor fix it, and then I discover this Vitalia through a friend one of my subscribers is a very big man and he told me about Vitalia and I did a research and it was good. So I, I included that in most of my projects, okay. So this area is done and that area is a kitchen um, out um, porch. So it has to be a step down, okay. So that the purpose of that step down 
because it's a kitchen terrace, the probability that when it rains, there'll be splashes of water dropping there is high. So once it's a step down, the water will not be able to come into the room. You understand? But if you have it all leveled, uh, the water can just easily gush through the room. You understand? So that side is a step down with the floor drain right there. So you can see it's a step down, there's a floor drain in there. So this was done in a day because they didn't start early and they had issues with the flow of water. Because of our reverse osmosis, um, it doesn't produce the output water quickly, but they didn't plan towards it. And so they ran short of water along the line. So they had to sit back and prepare the next day to finish everything completely. And so that was what they did. And then mostly there's estimated um, duration for casting such oversized concrete usually is two days. Okay, uh, most concrete operators will, will work maximum 80 bucks a day. That's what they do, 80 bucks a day. If they can uh, consider you, they will do up to 100 bucks a day. So anything beyond 80 bucks is then considered two days, you understand? So they have to do a two days work in order to complete the entire oversight um, casting. It looks beautiful, yes, looks beautiful. And that is why it is good to mix um, the river sand with the normal sand to avoid any cracks, you know, coming. If you use the normal sand, mostly this sand nowadays comes with clay in them, you understand? It has some amount of clay. So to avoid those cracks, you use quarry, uh, either quarry dust or river sand. And so in my recent time, I'm planning on uh, employing river sand or quarry dust in my oversight casting, oversight and that of the first floor slab casting. It helps a lot, you understand? It helps a lot. So, so far so good. And the next day we have to pour water and the purpose of pouring the water is for curing, okay? And we'll be doing that. And then we can start laying our blocks. And that will be the first floor superstructure. First floor superstructure, okay? All right, so if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you've not. And reach out to me if you need my services. My name is Mr. Bright Antonio. I am the CEO of BNC Constructions Limited. We prepare, estimate, and we build houses for people. From me to you, shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.